do we I look at all these freaking dragon skeletons, this is crazy. It's like littered everywhere. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. By night, we reclaim. <gasps> Listen to me. You there. What brings you to this place? Why are you here? I am Freya of the Skull. I am here to either save my people or avenge them. I am unsure. Something has taken control of most of the people of Solstein. It makes them forget themselves and work on these horrible creations that corrupt the stones, the very land itself. My father, Storm, our shaman, says Mirak has returned to Solstein, but that is impossible. Then you and I both have reason to see what lies beneath us. Let us go. There is nothing more I can do here. The tree stone and my friends are beyond my help for now. We need to find a way into the temple below. His story is as old as Sol's time itself. He served the dragons before their fall from power, as most did. A priest in their order. But unlike most, he turned against them. He made his own path, and his actions cost him dearly. The stories say he sought to claim Sol's time for himself, and the dragons destroyed him. Victorious again. I will strike like a hawk! That just so happens that door opens. Still here? I am sworn to carry your Gee. burdens. Hmm. Let's get going then. She got to. I shouldn't come this far down. She did whatever. The evil in this place. I guess she did. His story is as old as Saul's time. He served it, but unlike most, the stories say he sought to claim Saul's time for himself, and the dragons destroyed him for it. <coughs> there are few of us left unaffected by this curse. My father, Storm, the shaman, protects them in the village. I fashioned an amulet to guard me against whatever has taken hold of the skull, but it is the only one of its kind. If I cannot find a way to save them, there is no hope for our people.
We have lived on Solstheim for many generations. Our people are tied to the land itself. We try to serve the Allmaker, to live in balance with nature, instead of exploiting it, as others would. We must find out what is working. Are you ready to help me now? We should not delay. We should check these rooms for supplies before heading further into the temple. The evil in this place must be rooted out. I guess that's a shot out of the door. There's not really anything in here. already dead. I do not wish to imagine the kinds of things that happened in this chamber. Who are the poor souls trapped in these cages? What tortures did they suffer at Mirak's hands? Was it in service to the dragons? Or for his own purposes? Oh, crap. Look up there. Guy sees me. Jeez. I did a number on Jordis. I have no doubt you can find a way up. You never know. You may find something of value. I shall look around. We can proceed when you are ready.
Especially when it's going to bring them the force of the pal on top of us. behind us. Where happened to Jordis? God. Stuck on a lamppost. They can stuff those traps with their tombs. I don't know they could Who's do that. There? I 
And those other ones over here too. So I missed with the second uh, magic shot there. It's a huge circle, isn't it? I'm not going down there. It would be foolish to attempt it. You have a much better chance than us. I have no doubt that beaver is going to play. I shall wait here for now. It's some sort of pressure plate system here. Oh, I see. Let us hold. Wold. So, so hopefully this will be the last recording session I have to do. Uh, game actually crashed as uh, changing to my E drive, and uh, when I came went to come back into the game, it crashed. Uh, so I'm not sure where it's going to be at. Well, let's see where the autosave is at. It's inside of the temple. <coughs> uh, <yeah. coughs> Already back to old uh, croaky. Alright, we got frog legs for lunch. Let's see, so we still got about, I think, uh, my last testament was an hour, 30 minutes to get all the footage I need. I'm not really sure what it is now, I'm just going to record till 2 o'clock. Well, that was interesting. You there. What brings you to this place? Why are you here? The evil in this place must be rooted out. His story is as old. He served, but unlike the stories say he sought to claim Solstein for himself, there are few of us. I fashion if I cannot find a way to save them. We have lived on. We try to serve the All Maker, to live in balance with nature instead of exploiting it as others would. Seems a lot brighter for some reason. Where are you going? You would leave now when we have yet to find what is at the heart of this. That's hilarious. I, was I cannot this leave way. this unfinished. I must remain. Interesting. Just turn that in. It registered that. Well, let's see. If, let's see. Um. Foos. Foos. Okay. Foos Rodan. Foos Ro. Damn. Are you ready to help? Me? We should not delay. We should check these rooms for supplies before heading further. Yeah, the yeah, I already heard all this before. Oh, well, there's a potion over here I missed. Actually, two. Of them. <laughs> you know when you can find potions stashed everywhere and everywhere and every which where you can look at look at them that that, that the place you're in is going to be hard to sell. And that's kind of a way you can gauge difficulties of areas is. If you have an area where you have like, you know, seven or eight potions just in the very first entrance area, you're either gonna get screwed over at some point. And that's why you need those uh, potions. In this case, it happens to be the fact that you have to fight so many frickin'. Um, Death Lords or whatever they're called. Take your time. I shall follow you when you are ready.
Let's put this bench here just for her, I guess. Well, we're just gonna put this bench here for this NPC to sit here. Because who cares if it doesn't make any sense. It's like those, uh, I think I mentioned it uh, in a video early, early on. There, or no, it's in a, an image that I have on my Steam account. I have a thing that shows a particular spot in uh, a Dwemer Ruins where uh, Bethesda placed a uh, some sort of, you know, cogwheel thing, but didn't have the proper brackets around it, like they do on all the other ones. It was a misplaced uh, model. So I said no cookie for Bethesda because of that. And this... Um... That spell that I have in my left hand. It's powerful as all hell, but it's also very... Draining. It just sucks the magic over it out of me. What's funny about that is, like, you know, it falls out dead. What is with this friggin' NPC and teleporting around? We must be careful in these ruins. Traps can be anywhere, and there will likely be many. Well, no, damn. Trying to take power there are no crap. And protecting himself in the process. This isn't the first rodeo we've been on, you know. As I mentioned before, my half-sleep delirious state. I'm more of a one-quarter sleep delirious now. And I've gone through all sorts of things. I do not like wish this. to imagine the kinds of things that happened in this chamber. Who are the poor souls trapped in these cages? What tortures did they suffer at Mirak's hands? Was it in service to the dragons? Or for his own purposes? Look up there. I think I see something. What, that chair? The stairs are knocked out. I have no doubt you can find a way up. You never know. You may find something of value up there. I shall look around. We can proceed when you are ready. I bet you anything there's an invisible wall right here. You should be able to jump up on top of this thing. Yeah. So you can get in right here in this crack. You should be able to go up on top of that, but you can't. A thin invisible wall there. I don't really think anything against invisible walls, but at the same time, excessive use of them does get annoying. Like uh, with a sniper ghost warrior, I think. Uh, one of my uh, friends in the Bahamas had uh, a death I was talking about it. About how there's just hidden walls everywhere. Of course, that left hand spell is also very hard to uh, aim. It's kind of off center to the right a bit. Who's there? But it does damage like nobody's business. <laughs> I got that one, I can't believe that. I will not fall. These magic spells are just awesome. Victorious again. So I think this is where we ended up before the crash happened because I was going to switch over to the other drive. Or no, it was after this. That's right. There's a further, uh, further, further, further up there's those four Death Lords. First, you get that huge uh, trap thing to go through. Well, actually, no, that isn't true. I 
It just depends on, you know, if I run away or not. Who's there? Jeez. Death yeah, I'm a okay. Lots of uh, I will stamina. Not fall. You can't win this. I think it's hilarious as that Gore and George are so powerful. It's just like they can take these guys out a few shots, and I go up against one. I have to like shield bash it to death. I'm not sure how the follower's strength uh, is uh, calculated. I don't think it's on the same kind of scale, so I think it's a multiplier or something. I don't know, just a value of the weapon with a multiplier of some other, other stats or something. Which is kind of cheap, but, uh, because, um... Oh, cool. That's awesome. All of those magic kill camps. Um, because it's, it kind of cheapens followers, you know, they make them so much more powerful. So instead of having nice epic battles with lots of enemies, you know, you have them taking out all the enemies before you get a chance to, uh, really have a good scrap. Then again, the enemies are also pretty powerful, so... I guess it balances, uh, it, it, everything balances out, I guess. How about that, Ern? <clears throat> then again, it's probably dead before that fell on top of him. Hey, a chest. I really shite in armor. Mine is 112. <clears throat> Jeez, gives you an idea of how strong my armor is. And then, I've, you know what, I bet those, uh, warg-like, uh, creatures that the Reeklings ran on top of our, uh, you know, their damage doesn't, uh, you know, the, the damage, um, ignores, what the, oh, it's just shadows. I bet the thing's, like, flowing in the wind or something. Yeah, if you look at it, so the light trick, trick of the lights. The way the human eye looks. If you look at it just out of the corner of the eye, or if you look straight ahead and you see it on a peripheral, it looks like the wall is actually moving. It's like that same uh, trick with the pencil, where if you uh, jiggle it up and down at a certain speed, it looks like you're uh, bending it. Same kind of principle. That's to do with the way the light hits stuff. Yeah, this is that crazy one. Oh, yeah, four dead. <laughs> I had never seen that before. Four friggin' death lords at the same time. Of course. Of course. Jordis and Gordis totally own them. I'm not gonna risk it. I do not fear death. 